In this video, we are going to learn how you can create a certificate for your Tutor LMS course and how you can add those certificate to your courses. Before we get started, it's also important to mention to add the certificate feature to your Tutor LMS site, you need Tutor LMS Pro. So let's take a look at the pricing page of Tutor LMS. Here we can see that Tutor LMS has two types of plan, annual and lifetime. The annual plan starts with the individual package, which is $199 per year. Then there's the business business plan which is available for $399 a year and the agency plan which is the highest tier is $799 a year. Now if you purchase any of these tiers you will get access to all the features of Tutor LMS. The difference is that with the individual plan you get only one site license, the business plan gives you access to 10 site licenses and with the agency plan, you can use Tutor LMS on unlimited sites. If you want, you can also get the lifetime plans, which are a bit expensive, but you can understand as these are only one-time payment. So once you get Tutor LMS Pro, install it on your WordPress website and get started. So we have logged into our WordPress website and we also have installed Tutor LMS Pro and we also have created some courses. As you can see, we have created some courses. If you need any tutorial on how to create courses or quizzes using Tutor LMS, we have video tutorials on those topics. You can find the link to those tutorials in the video description. Now, suppose you want to add a certificate to one of your courses. So let's say I want to add a certificate to this course. We're simply going to click on these three dots and click on edit. And we're going to go to the additional tab and scroll down. Over here, we can find various certificate templates. However, if you do not see this option, that means your certificate add-on isn't enabled. To do that, what we're going to do is close the course builder and head over to add-ons, which is located right within the Tutor LMS Pro. And from here, find the certificate add-on right over here. Okay, there are various other add-ons, so it might take you a little bit time to find it. So once you find it, just simply click over here on the toggler to enable the certificate add-on. Once it's enabled, you can go back to your course and head over to the additional tab. And from here, you can pick any certificate template that you like. Currently, we're using this template, as you can see. You can also view portrait templates. As there are portrait templates available, you can choose any of these. Before choosing a certificate, you can click on the preview button to see or verify how the certificate looks like. And that is how you can choose a certificate for your course. That's so simple. What if you want to add your own certificate or create your own certificate? That's also possible. If we head over to the custom certificates, we can see there's no certificate added, but we can add our own certificate. For this, we have to download a separate plugin for Tutor LMS, which is known as the Tutor LMS Certificate Builder. Now, if you have Tutor LMS Pro, you will also be able to use or download the Certificate Builder. You have to download it from your Tutor LMS account and then upload that plugin to your WordPress website and install the plugin and you'll have access to the Certificate Builder. We already have installed the Certificate Builder on our WordPress website. So we are going to hover our mouse over Tutor LMS Pro and then go to the settings. And from here, we are going to click on this Certificate tab. And over here, you can click on Create Certificate to open up the Certificate Builder, or you can click on Certificate Settings and go through these settings here. Over here, you can add important information such as authorized name. You can add the authorized name, authorized company name. You can add the certificate page, so where the certificates will be added. And then you can also decide if you want to show instructor name on the certificate or certificate link in course completion email if you want to show the certificate link and then you can upload the signature here as well but we're going to scroll up and just click on create certificate and build a certificate from scratch and as soon as you open up the certificate builder it's going to give you a lot of templates so you can pick any of these templates and then customize these templates to make those certificates completely your own there is landscape and portrait mood so you can choose whichever suits your style all right but what we are going to do is click on create our own and this is going to open up a blank canvas. The first thing that you need to do is upload a certificate background. Now, before we upload any certificate background or add any certificate background, we're going to name this certificate by clicking over here. 
untitled template we're going to name the certificate we've added the name of the course and then finally wrote certificate at the end so we can identify the certificate now what we are going to do is add a background if we go to the backdrops tab over here here we are going to see a lot of patterns colors and background templates you can use these patterns and colors to design your own unique background but for simplicity, what we are going to do is pick a background over here. We can either click on it or we can drag and drop it. But if you click on it, it's going to quickly add the certificate background over here. All right. Now you can also design your own certificate background on Photoshop, Canva or any other designing tools and then upload that background over here. To do that, what you can do is go to media and choose this file upload button and you can upload your own certificate background. All right. After you add in your certificate background, now we can drag and drop these elements on the left hand side of this table. All right, after you add in your certificate background, now we have to add in some elements. For that, we're going to click on this elements tab and we can see there are several elements over here which we can drag and drop to our canvas to design the certificate. At first, let's drop a text. So we're going to click on it and here's the text. We are going to write something. We're going to write certificate over here and let's increase the text size. So we're going to click over here and we are going to get some options to customize our text. We are going to increase the font size to 60. And of course, it's not visible. All right. Now we can see it. And now let's place it over here. And again, you can choose several fonts. So there are a lot of fonts which you can choose. Now there are very stylish fonts and you can choose any of these fonts to make your certificate design a lot better so let's choose this font as this is very stylish and after we write certificate let's add another text we're going to drag it and drop it over here we're going to say certificate of achievement all right now also we're going to reduce the font size to let's say 24 pixels and then let's place it over here all right and then let's add another text and we're going to reduce the size of this font. This is to certify that now we need the name of the student. Now, as this is a dynamic data, we are going to use this element over here. We're going to simply drag it and drop it over here. So this will be the name of the students. We can also change the font size. So since this will be the name of the student, let's actually make this a big text. And let's center it and place it over here. And let's place another text. And we are going to reduce the size of this text. So let's say 18. And let's expand this. And let's also change the font size of this text as well. We're going to change it to 18. Has completed the following course. Now we need the name of the course. So let's place it over here. And let's increase the font size to 30. Well, let's say 24. All right, now let's expand this a little bit and align it to the middle. And let's also add the date of completion. So we're going to add in another text. We're going to write on and let's reduce the size to 16 pixels or 18 pixels. On. And now let's add the time element over here and let's drop it over here. Okay, so, so this will show the completion date over here. So next we're going to add in another text and drag it and drop it over here. We're going to call this certificate ID and let's reduce the text size to let's say 24 and let's place it over here. And we're going to use the verification ID over here and place it over here. Now let's also add a signature and let's also make it 24. Let's call it authorized signature and let's add in a signature over here. 
Now we can upload our signature just by clicking over here. And right now we don't have any signatures prepared for this. So what you can simply do is click on upload button and add in your own signature. And that's it, you have a certificate. You can also add other details such as instructor name. You can also add QR code, duration of the course, and also great point. But I think that these details will be good enough. Now we are going to publish this certificate. All right, the certificate has been published. Now let's close the certificate builder. And now you can see that we have a certificate over here. Now let's get back to our course. Now let's edit this course. And let's go to the additional tab and scroll down. And if we click on custom certificate, here we can see our certificate is over here. So let's go ahead and close this up and select this. And now let's update our course. Now let's finish this course as a student and see how the certificate looks like. Now we're going to preview this course. All right, so this is our course. Let's go ahead and finish this. We're going to click on start learning and complete this course. And of course, now our course is complete. We are going to close it up and we can see there's the option to view certificate. So we're going to click on this button and here's our certificate. You can see the name of the student, the name of the course, the date, certificate ID, everything appeared over here. Of course, we did not upload our signature. So it's saying upload your signature. So, but once you upload your signature, it's going to look a lot better. And then we can download this as PDF or JPG. We can copy credential URL. We can print this certificate and also share it on our Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn. Once a tutor LMS based platform issues a certificate, that certificate can be verified by others. It makes the certification more credible and trustworthy. Now let's see how to check or verify a certificate issued using Tutor LMS. You can verify a Tutor LMS certificate in two ways, by scanning a QR code or by using the certificate ID. Both of these information can be placed on the certificate itself. We have already shown how to place the certificate ID on your certificate. You can also place the validation QR code the same way while creating the certificate. Now, as you can see, we added a new element, which is the QR code. Now, in order to verify your certificate, what you'll simply have to do is scan this QR code and it will lead you to this web page. Again, you can also copy this certificate ID and add it to your URL slug in order to view this certificate. However, you also have to add some extra elements. So how do you do this? Let's open up a private browser and see. So we have opened up a private browser. Now we're going to add the URL of our website. Now after that, we are going to add a slash and then write tutor certificate. Certificate. We're going to add another forward slash and now we're going to add a question mark and then we are going to add cert underscore hash and then we're going to place an equals to sign and then we're going to add in our certificate id and hit enter on keyboard now as you can see that this brings us to this same url where we can verify this certificate so that is how you can verify your tutor certificate so that is how you can add certificates to your courses in tutor lms and also create custom certificates using the certificate builder of tutor lms so we hope that this video was helpful for you if you found this video helpful give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more helpful videos such as this one so thank you for watching see you next time